What's going on, y'all? So today, I'm gonna be replacing this VVT solenoid on this um, 2008 Legacy uh, with a 2.5 liter uh, motor. Uh, not non-turbo, as you can see. So the VVT solenoid went out on me. Checked it with a multimeter. I'm getting no uh, voltage. So um, I'm doing an install video here. Uh, it's two bolts you need to take out to actually access that one 10 millimeter because that bracket that you see right there is in the way. So we're gonna remove that top screw that you see, get that 10 millimeter on top. Oh, that you see right here. And then we're also gonna remove that 10 millimeter to release the actual cam uh, position sensor. So this is, um, I'm actually having code uh, P0028. Um, and that's your driver's side VVT solenoid. pull it out and just wiggle it it's gonna be hard though but It takes a little bit to get out, you just gotta pry it out. I'm gonna go grab the new one now. This is a new part. I got this off eBay. Uh, it was like $18. I mean, it's whatever, I'm gonna give it a shot. And if it works, then perfect. If not, then I'll just go with the OEM. But it looks pretty good. I'm gonna compare it to the old one. I'm actually gonna put some oil on it, like around here. Put some oil here. All right, so I got it oiled up, kind of lubricated, just so I can slide in a little easier without tugging the rubber. That's it, that's how you install a VVT solenoid on a um, pretty much any 2.5 uh, liter Subaru engine without the turbo on it. That's the full procedure. 